So I'm going to demonstrate the Gowgates injection today, and we're going to go over the landmarks. The landmarks are the line from the intertragic notch to the commissure. So that line right here, that gives you your angle for when you go in for the injection. The other landmark is the mesolingual cusp of the second molar, so that's the height. So your injection site is going to be just distal to that molar at the height of the mesolingual cusp. And then finally, the barrel is going to be going from the opposite premolar, similar to the IA. So when you give the injection, you are going to place your, your index finger or your middle finger into the tragic notch and onto the coronoid notch here. And that's going to be an angle for you to follow with the injection. Okay, so I've already put the topical on duly. And so I'm going to just go ahead and go in. I've already prepared the site. And the gout gates is going to get all the structures that the IA injection gets, but it also gets the auriculotemporal nerve and the mylohyoid nerve. And 75% of the time it gets the buccal nerve. It gets the lingual nerve, the incisive nerve, the mental nerve. It's a true block. Okay, so my thumb is going to be resting on the coronoid notch. My middle finger is in her intertragic notch. And that gives me my line. I'm okay, so I'm, my middle finger is in the tra tragic notch. My thumb is on the coronoid process. The barrel's over the premolars. I'm at the height of the mesolingual cusp of the second molar, just distal to it. Then I'm going to penetrate, aspirate, it's negative, so I'm going to give a few comfort drops. Wait five seconds. The patient needs to stay open nice and wide, and then I'm going to slowly advance, kind of aiming towards my finger, the one that's in the notch. And on this one, it's pretty deep, but I've contacted. So I'm going to aspirate and you're going to deposit the entire carp. Okay, and when you're done with the injection, the patient needs to stay open, and you're gonna instruct the patient to stay open for at least a minute. I like to give my patient a bite block. Go ahead and put that in. And this is an important part of the injection. They need to stay wide open for at least a minute for it to work. So the bite block gives them something to bite on. And uh, this injection works really well. I use it for patients that don't get numb on the IA very easily, and it has a really, really high success rate.